Hey, uh, give, walk us through the, uh, your touchdown there, buddy. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Huh? It was your first career one, yeah. right? Yes, in the league, in the, yeah. In, of course, know, of course I got an end on that, Georgia. But, uh, yeah, it was good. It was just great effort from the guys. I knew, we knew what was going to happen. They were going to have to deal with me and Troy in the A-gaps. So, I mean, we just rushed hard, and Troy made the play. Troy did it. He did the hard work. <laughs> he got through there and made the block. But, I mean, once I got the ball, I was like, I got to get in. And don't fumble. Do not fumble. <laughs> what did you see? Uh, you know, when it's happening, I think it was Arthur who said after the game, he was like, you know, Troy, Troy just like, like a bull just went straight through it. Like, yeah. what were you seeing in that moment? Yeah, I, I knew I was, I had a couple guys on me, so I, I knew I was getting <laughs> double teamed, so I felt, I looked, peeked through and, and saw a flash. <laughs> it was like, there he goes. <laughs> Then the ball rolled my way, and I was like, there it goes. So I had to go get it. And it was, it was just a lot of excitement. Um, just opportunity for us to keep gaining more minimum in that opportunity and just keep trying to build from things. So it it did feel way. like in that moment that it was almost like a shift. Like it was like a, a light switched on or something because it definitely felt like a different game after that point. I mean, how did that, that play singularly, it kind of changed? the direction of the way the game went. Yeah, I don't think it was just that play, though. I think it was a build-up of things, like from a couple series before we made a stop and our offense drove the field and scored. And then that was just another thing that just helped show how much fight we had and just how much effort we are just going to keep putting forward. Even though, you know, it's 0-2, not the start that you would want, but how do you kind of evaluate where this defense is? and? and what you want to see this defense do moving forward? Uh, I think we show flashes. We definitely show flashes of what we could be, and that's pretty good in my opinion. But, I mean, we just got to keep doing it and put it together consistently throughout a whole game. And then once we do that, we'll go from there and just keep stringing them together. So I think people can see what we have going on, see the opportunities and chances that we have to be a good defense. So we got to be out there, be the guys, and put it out on film. Hey, I, um, in the Detroit game, I was, I, I was, you know, I was charting the kickoff coverage. I was like, "What's Lorenzo doing out on the kickoff coverage?" And then Marquez was like, "Hey, you know, everybody on this team's got to help us. <laughs> What's that mentality like being a starter and you know willing to go play on special teams?" That's why I'm letting the young guys know special teams is a phase of the game that helps determine wins and losses. Mm -hmm. And when I was young in the league, a rookie, mm -hmm. I started every special team. Second year, started every special team. Mm -hmm. Third year, started every one except one. So it's like, yo, special teams is a big part of the game. And mm -hmm. you got to have the best guys out there. When you're out there, you're competing. It's a chance to make a play and help mm -hmm. the team win. So I mean, shoot, whatever they want me to do, I line up and go do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's that mentality like, you know, Covering kicks, block, trying to go block kicks, you know, just to, you know, yeah. doing a little something to, you know, add to the third phase. Yeah, it's uh, defensive. I love defensive special teams. So you just get to run and hit. Mm -hmm. It's a chance for you to go down and just make a play, like kickoff. I just get to run down and set the edge from mm -hmm. yards away. It's better than running down, setting the edge on a 350-pound offensive lineman. So I'd rather go do special teams and run up and take advantage of people. Uh, this is a lot of time mismatch. It's a mismatch with guys like us, defensive linebackers and guys like that. Yeah, how's the group doing? And uh, you know, what do y'all say to Coach Ted? Is he dealing with his uh, situation? Yeah, Coach Ted's doing good, man. We just got a chance to talk to him. So he's in good spirits. He's still helping us out. We're in communication. So he's doing his thing. We'll get him back soon. And I mean, the group is, we're good. Uh, we know we got to step up with mm -hmm. his absence. Mm -hmm. And I think the guys are up to the challenge. So we got the right group of guys in the men, men in the room. So we're going to do it. Okay. Can you just walk me through uh, the block punt and kind of what you saw as it was happening? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really get blocked. Um, so I took the first couple steps and then I was, yeah, just go get the ball, hit him, hit him, and and try to find the ball and score because they already had it and it was yeah it was exciting when you 
From the outside looking in, it felt like the atmosphere changed after that moment. What what kind of did it do that play do for you guys on the sideline in that specific moment of the game? Yeah, I think it just provided a spark. I mean, at that point, it was a two score game, and to to cut it to the the one score um, was huge just for momentum purposes. Um, give that you know that jolt for the, the offense and defense to to feed off the special teams. When you kind of evaluate these first two games for yourself, n not just special teams, but on defense as well, what kind of evaluations do you make personally and, and where you want to go from here? Yeah, I think it's been, been good so far, you know, a learning experience. Um, just do whatever they whatever they, they have me, whatever they ask of me, and try to do it to the best of my ability. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been good. Everybody talks about, especially Arthur and, and Dean Pease, about the communicator that Michael Walker is. In those game scenarios, how do you see him kind of exemplifying that? Oh, yeah. I mean, Mike's been been great. We, every day when we watch film, um, just communicating what he's seeing out on the field. He knows the defense so well that he can get, you know, make the adjustments on the field. And if there's something that's, that's messed up or somebody's on the wrong page, he can kind of, you know, correct that and get everybody focused. It was really interesting because y'all were rotating defensively, it felt like way more this game than, than last game. I mean, when you have that rotation happening as quickly and as often as it was, I mean, how do you make sure that everybody's on the same page in terms of getting the play call, understanding what it is, and, and how does, I guess, Michael's role in that kind of ex know, expand? Yeah, I mean, he's the, he's got the green dots. So they're communicating directly to him, um, and not just the call, but, you know, tips for the outside linebackers in the secondary, um, he has to be able to you know communicate that well and in a timely timely manner because you know plays they happen quickly. Um, yeah, and I mean he's done a great job so far. Lorenzo was talking about um, this defense and feeling like we've seen flashes of what this defense can be. Do you kind of feel the same way? It's like just one day and it's not just going to be flashes. It's going to be something that's going to span four quarters. Right. I mean, definitely. I think we've we've shown that we can be a, a really you know dominant defense. It's just finding that consistency of every play. You can't have two great plays first and second and then you know give up one on third down. It's it's every play. Um, just putting it all together and trusting one another and you know that communication and yeah, just working on it every day. That's all I got. Thank right. you so much. Cool. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry. Troy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Hey, sorry. Oh, Orlando yeah. Lippert, oh, uh, AJC. Hey, um, just uh, walking through the uh, the um, the block punt there. Talk to Lorenzo. He said he took a couple people and saw you, <laughs> saw the uh, flash go by. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't really get blocked, and so it was a uh, don't miss a layup, uh -huh. I guess. But it was, uh, yeah, definitely a fun play. and. Um, get up and celebrate with Renzo in the end zone. Okay. And uh, so what's it been like these first couple of weeks, you know, getting the action, a lot of special teams, then you got some run yesterday with the defense? Yeah, it's, it's been great. It's been a, I mean, I just, just told Tori, it's been a learning experience, but it's been a lot of fun, you know, um, being out there with the guys and being out there every day at practice, trying to get better and do whatever they, they ask of me. Mm -hmm. And, um, what uh, what uh, what was you know what was the Rams offense like? I mean, they're just uh, you know being out there in the red zone and everything. Yeah, I mean they're they're obviously extremely talented. Um, they have all the shifts and motions and uh, things that you have to communicate and watch out for. Um, yeah, I mean they're they're a great team and it was a, it was a challenge. Kyle, we were talking to Arthur about um, the difference philosophically in where this team was at this point last year versus where it is now, and feeling like a different team, even at 0 and 2, but feeling different. Is that something that you feel as well? Definitely, it's a new team. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, we didn't come out with the you know two tight wins I mean, uh, from the you know previous two weeks, but you know we'll, we'll get over the hump. But I do feel like you know we, we've been fighting better than ever, and you know this this is a whole new team, and we just got a whole different you know persona, I guess you'd say. When it comes to this, was something that Lorenzo said that I've kind of stuck on, but he was talking about how you've seen flashes from this defense um, of who they can be, and I feel like the same is probably said for the offense. What's the difference in seeing flashes and, and kind of consistently playing four quarters of, of not just flashes, but consistent play. I mean, I think it's, st it's still early and, you know, we're making a small, de you know, small detailed mistakes, but, you know, once we 
you know, fix those up, I, I think that'll be where the four, four quarter full efficiency will, you know, kick in. What does a complete game look like? You know, I, I feel like a lot of people from the outside looking at it, it's like, oh, like this is a complete, this is a complete game. If you're kind of explaining that, what do you think it is? I would say just staying on the field, third down, scoring in the red zone, and no turnovers. Hey, Kyle, how you doing? What's going on? All right, not too much. Hey, um, I was talking to Coach and Marcus yesterday, and they said, you know, hey, Kyle's been helping in a lot of ways. He's part of the offense. How's that been, you know, with, um, you know, what you, what they've been asking you for the first couple of days? I feel like it's been fine just going out there and just, you know, playing selfless ball and just opening up for somebody else. And, you know, if the ball doesn't find my way in one play, you know, I may find it the next series or the next quarter. So, but I'm not, you know, necessarily being very anal about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, he's, you know, he's like, hey, you know, it's a huge part. Y'all don't see half the stuff he's doing, blocking and, and so forth. But uh, is that the selfish part you're talking about? I would say that, and just, <clears throat> just contributing to the team as best I can. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, how are you dealing with the amount of coverage you've been getting? The same way, just going out there and performing. Because it's like this, um, you know, they basically say you're pulling people away for other guys to, to, to uh, perform. I mean, I, I just want to make sure that's actually. Yeah, it's so just a part of the game. I mean, I'm not. I'm not thinking too much about if, uh -huh. if I am being double. I'm just going out there and trying to win my matchup. Okay. And um, how do you stay, um, you know, focused and into it when you know that's you know? I mean, everybody wants to ball, you know. I used to be a point guard. I wanted to shoot a lot, but Kate okay, got to spread it around a little bit. I guess Is that what kind of is happening. I mean, I'm not so worried about like myself solely. I mean, obviously, you know, we all want the ball as competitors. But if you know, if it doesn't find our way, then it doesn't find our way. But um, just you know, taking the game by game, man. It's a long season. And um, how do you uh, uh, feel when you see Drake? You know, getting getting uh, getting some of that action that you know you probably helped him get. I feel good because, uh -huh. like you said, I, you know, I may have opened it up for him, and, and just seeing him flourish is great. I think it was Arthur used the example of um, one of Kadero Hodges' catches, and he was like, "That was something that he's like, people don't notice, but Kyle was a big part of that." Do you remember kind of that specific play and, and kind of what the look was and everything? Um, I think I was in pass rotation, and uh, I'll say. I, I was with the line. I was, I, <laughs> I was like, where are you? Yeah, where but you uh, were just, you know, we take the marches up front, and then, you know, I was able for him to get the ball down the field of uh, Kadera. Okay. Because that was the example he used, and I was yeah. like, I don't remember what he was doing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right, so that was able to, he was able to secure the pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, you continue to work on your craft. What are, what are you doing, or how, what do you do when you watch tape, critiquing yourself about routes and how you're running things and how does it influence defenders and those kind of things? Is that something you're really looking deeply at as you watch your game? Definitely uh, pre and post snap breeze, just to how can I run it faster? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, visualizing the defense, you know, what I've seen during the week and what I see during the game. So just, you know, trying to see that faster and, you know, playing faster. Have you gotten to the point now after last year and a couple of games this year where you you are playing more at the Kyle Pitts speed. I mean, obviously last year's speed wasn't bad because you had over 1,000 yard receiving, but your ability to do things a little quicker, are you seeing that snap a little bit for you? I feel like I'm starting to see things a little bit quicker, but you know, it also, it's also, it's always room for improvement. Sure. So just okay. each week trying to get better. All right, man, thanks. <laughs> hey, so Richie, um, you know, uh, there are uh, two games here. Where is the unit at as you all are coming together? Uh, in that game, late made a bid, mm -hmm. had some plays made on uh, you know, Darren's big punch out and so mm -hmm. forth. Just want to know where you think the unit is and coming along and so forth. I mean, using the right word, we all coming together mm -hmm. more and more each week. Uh, and then weeks like this, we out in Seattle together, all together in um, one hotel. It's just more time, more, more uh, ways to bond as a team and get closer together. But coming along is the right words to use, though. Did somebody bring the ping pong table? <laughs> <laughs> you can turn any table to a ping pong table. <laughs> you just got to warn it back. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Um, the play that Darren made, Yeah. walk me through it and, and kind of what you saw him, him do in that moment. He did exactly what he did in practice. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you look at early in the game, um, it was a uh, curl route to, to the tight end and the boundary, and he tried to punch the ball out on the sideline. And then come to the end of the game, you know, those, those habits that he had, same exact thing, but the ball came out. So he's doing the exact same thing he's doing in practice. He just showed up.
You think somebody else gets it, but he had a he did yeah, a yeah he got it, and, got it. <laughs> and he got a fumble recovery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he deserved it. When it comes to um, the secondary, we saw a lot of guys rotating in and out. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure that guys are playing consistently together as you're seeing that rotation in a way that maybe we've seen more of a rotation in the last game than maybe the game before? Yeah, I feel like uh, coaches do a good job in practice of doing the same thing anyways. Uh, the guys that came in, that's the normal rotations anyways uh, throughout the week, and we just implemented a little more uh, against the Rams Sunday. Lorenzo was talking about feeling like you've seen flashes of what this defense can be. Mm. Is that something that you feel as well? I mean, yeah, the flashes, but I mean, you seen we came from behind and we went up and, you know, it's, it's about finishing, honestly. Like those flashes you're talking about, I feel like we can just get more consistent with that, yeah. We'll be able to win some games, but I'm, I'm confident in what we're doing, though. What's the sense of urgency? I think everybody who's come through here and, and Coach Smith said you, we're seeing a lot of positive things. What's the sense of urgency, though, to get a win just to get some validation of those things? Um, that added pressure, I mean, it's, it's natural, you know what yeah. I mean? But we know what we need to do. You know, we're putting in the work. Like I said, we're coming together even more. But we're going to put in the work and always learn from your mistakes and move forward. I think it was – I've asked a couple guys this, but – Started 0-2 last year, 0-2 mm -hmm. this year, but it feels a bit different because of how close these games have been. Mm -hmm. Does it kind of feel that way for this defense, that it feels a little bit different because of how things have gone? We flying around, we competing. You know, you can't ask for more than that. Uh, some plays don't go our way, but you see we still fighting towards the end. You know, it's just so putting ourselves in position. It's those little plays, you know, that at the end that make or break the game. But... Man, we fighting, man. We flying around, so I love that. Do you think that's a um, a marker of this team? I think it's something that Arthur has spoken on a lot about being in the game until the end. Like, this is mm -hmm. a team that's not going to roll over. Is that something that he preaches to you guys at all and something that you take into consideration yourselves? I say it was it was preached in the beginning. We kind of took a hold of love and we ran with it, and now you see it on Sunday. Like, we're not going away, you know what I mean? We are going to fight, but... Like I said, we want some W's too. Y'all have done a, a, a pretty good job of, of creating turnovers. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that has been the case early on? Getting, getting to the ball, guys flying to the ball, and guys are actively trying to get the ball out. Like uh, D'Aw had a great punch out. Um, Mike had a great read um, and rat, you know, reading the quarterback, mm -hmm. got his hand on the ball. It's just guys doing their job, flying around. No, y'all talked about stacking practices a lot in training camp. Now, how do y'all pull the the uh, good things out of these games and try to put them into, you know, four quarters of, you know, five, six, seven possessions and put them into a game? Well, it's hard to come back on any team in this league. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We did it Sunday. Uh, we didn't finish it, but that shows right there is progress. You know what I mean? We didn't start how we wanted, but, you know, we were able to put that behind us and we had a good fight, a good push at the end. Mm -hmm. It just didn't end well, so. Having uh, Dean and, and Eric back there, mm -hmm. um, this year and what does that safety They just got so much experience. They didn't seen so much stuff, you know, and they just keep passing knowledge down each and every day. Uh, we soaking it up. So them guys and us young guys, you know, we got our little flashiness, but they got their experience. It, it's a great mess. But you know, uh, where are you at as far as being able to play your speed? Um, I know the game can confuse and can slow people down when you're still trying to learn it. Where, yeah. you, at? where, you, at? where do you feel you're at? Well, I feel like oh, 21 right now. It's 2021 right now. No, no, no. I'm just talking about because it, it looks to me like you're playing. You're uh -huh. playing really fast. Yeah. Like you're, you, you got a good feel for what Dean's calling. Right. And you and Jalen are doing a really good job mm -hmm. talking to each other back there. Yes, sir. Like, well, we've we're seeing you guys fly around. So right. You were just talking about flying the ball. Mm -hmm. so that would be an interpretation of that. Correct? Absolutely. Um, I think we did a great job this off season of. You know, getting our voices heard, yeah. uh, stuck up in that leader role, being back there, making all the calls. And right now, it's just believing in the game plan and then going out there and executing it. So what you're saying, with Coach P's putting us in those calls, we believe in him, believe what he got going on, certain calls. So we were able to go out there and play fast. The versatility that you two guys have from an ability to play the slot man to man, but also be able to play in the back end. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's got to be a huge 
Absolutely, because you can give so many different looks to offense, you know what I mean, with the same guy. You don't know who's coming from where. You don't know who's going to be dropping the cover. You don't know any of that. So having that versatility where you can put guys, plug them and fit them anywhere, it definitely messes with the offense. Yeah. That's what I said. Yes, sir.